Welcome to another Dark Nook video. In this video, I'm going to be making a potion bottle, a light up potion bottle prop that I'm making for under $5. I've got this nice brown bottle that I got at the grocery store and uh, I'm using some scrap leather, a hot glue gun that I got at the dollar store. And I got this little trinket at Michael's art supply store. This little trinket was from a purse. I think, or a pouch of some kind that was damaged and they put the little trinket part of it over in the clearance aisle for like 75 cents. And I have a cork light, a string of lights, also called fairy lights, that I'll be painting and using. A lot of the time, when I'm at the grocery store, I'll keep an eye out for bottles, interesting bottles. I find a lot of, uh, you know, health food items, kombucha tea and that sort of thing. They come in uh, glass bottles that are nice and interesting looking. So keep an eye out for that sort of thing. And when I'm in Michael's, I'll check the clearance aisle specifically for trinkets like this, just to use them in projects because uh, it adds, it adds a little bit of um, character, a little, little bit of interest to the item. Please like subscribe and don't forget to click that bell so you can get notified whenever I post awesome new videos. Now as we go through the process here, I'm going to use the hot glue gun to add a little bit of character to the bottle. Just to give it a little bit of texture, to break up the lines a little bit, so that when the lights flash on the inside, it'll break up the pattern a little bit and make it look a little more interesting. The next step is pretty simple. I'm just using the hot glue gun on the leather to wrap the leather around the the one part of this bottle that'll really give it away as being a manufactured consumer product uh, visually is the threading for the cap. So I use a little bit of leather, wrap it around that to disguise it and hide it so you don't see that. And then I'll attach the little trinket. Once that's attached, and I finished gluing all the leather, hot gluing all the leather down to get the look I want, I'll move on to painting the cork light.
I'm using a metallic brushed metal acrylic paint. Uh, it's just an acrylic paint I got at Walmart for about $2. Uh, it only takes a few drops and it creates this nice brushed metal look on pretty much anything you paint it on. Uh, gives it an interesting texture and an interesting color so it looks more like a metal stopper. I'll paint this cork light with this brushed metal paint. Once I'm all done painting this and it's dry, I'll do a quick test fit just to see how the lights look and make sure everything looks nice. And once that's done, it's on to printing the label. I created this label in 3D paint. It came out pretty nice. Once it's printed, I'll cut it out. You don't have to print it on photo paper or anything like that. Just regular paper. It has a nice rough look to it. I cut out the label and then put some flexible contact cement on the back and glue it to the bottle. Once that's done, we're finished. Here's the bottle all finished. I'm going to turn out the lights so you can see what this thing looks like. Isn't that awesome? I think it came out pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and, and that you see that you too can make fun and interesting props without uh, spending a ton of money. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and thanks for checking out my video.